Hi everyone, good to see you today. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to talk to you today about having a good, effective communication with other people and how important that is and um, how it can create a lot of peace within ourselves ultimately in our hearts and in our spirits in every way. But I'm sure that all of us, myself too, has been challenged how to get along and how to communicate well with other people, whether it may be our family members or our people at work, our neighbors. I mean, it could be anybody. And as we look out in the news, the media, the world out there, you know, there just seems to be a lot of discord and disharmony amongst people. And it's just very disheartening to see. I know lately in my personal realm, I've seen many people um, be challenged with ineffective communication with one another that caused a big rift in their hearts and uh, a lot of wound and they were just really struggling internally that I saw and it was just really sad for me to witness and how do we get out of that inner mental turmoil um, that is caused by a lot of um, miscommunication let's say and um, a lot of assumptions when we relate with one another and we just create the, our own ideas in our mind um, of whatever the scenario is. And I think that basically we all get wounded in one way or another or we feel like we have to prove ourselves or, or maybe perhaps we feel that uh, we need to be that good Christian and we shouldn't act a certain way with any kind of evil intent. But how hard it is, right, for all of us because we're human and we all stumble and fall in one way. And our the power of words, um, the words that we choose to speak once it's out there, you know, as you know, we can't get it back. And it's um, very, very difficult. And I know as I'm getting older, I find myself um, when I'm really tired and I don't have that much energy and I have a very full busy day ahead of me, I seem to not have that much tolerance um, and patience. Uh, with certain people that I know that they can just really go on and on and on and talk my ears out and require a lot of attention, mental attention from me, and I can get very drained. So I've watched myself to be, um, maybe try to be as polite as possible to, um, to others, um, but in a, a good way, <laughs> the best way I can. So the challenge, wow, of communicating with others. And there's a lot of um, bad relationships that can be created just by miscommunication and how we speak to one another. And it's really tough because some of us may come from different cultures or backgrounds or di we see different perspectives in life, male, female, the way we think, the way we talk. I mean, that's all really hard. And how can we just get along that is really, really hard, but God wants us to pursue peace and to be in love and harmony with one another the best way possible. I like what it says here in James 3, 2, 6. And what it says is that, for we all stumble in many ways. If someone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect individual. And we know that that's not humanly possible able to control the entire body as well. And if we put bits into the mouths of horses to get them to obey us, then we guide their entire bodies. Look at ships too. Though they are so large and driven by harsh winds, they are steered by a tiny rudder, wherever the pilot's inclination directs. So too the tongue is a small part of the body, yet it has a great pretensions. Think how small a flame sets a huge fire ablaze and the tongue is a fire. The tongue represents the world of wrongdoing among the parts of our bodies. It pollutes the entire body and sets fire to the course of human existence and it sets on fire by hell. So our tiny, tiny little tongue here, wow, it can set a a forest on fire, um, you know, it, it has a power to direct a big, huge, large ship, you know, or a, a horse, you know, we put the bit in the mouth and we direct it. That's the power of our tongues, our words, our speeches, uh, what we say to others, our tone of voice, our body language, facial expressions, 
Um, do we have evil intent when we speak or do we want to say kind edifying words to one another? That is something that I want, I would like for all of us to think about today and think about how do we communicate with others. It does seem to take a lot of effort and work on our part and we tend to get habitual and how we talk with others. Uh, with certain people, we may use a certain tone of voice, the way you talk with your family members compared to when you talk to your neighbors and so on. But there was a couple that came over, my husband does marriage counseling, and um, they seem to be having, they seem to have had so many numerous problems that the wife seems very frustrated with her husband and she degraded him because uh, she was just so frustrated and she had it up to here with him. And he, she just went on and on with harsh words and lashed out at him because she's so wounded and so frustrated. And she just put his manhood down to the gutter. And that was very sad to see. And my husband mentioned that when she was just on that rampage of venting out with all her frustrations, all of a sudden her face got very dark. And you could see, even see the side of the face. The whole part got really dark. And how ugly it can be. Can you imagine ourselves if somebody was to videotape us as we're talking in a harsh, negative manner towards another person? Get very dark. There's no light within the darkness. So I just want us to be encouraged to really be on guard on what we say here. And um, it says, you know, I like that play that it says, Aled Mizrab. To love another is to see the face of God. And it's so hard to love another person. But when we do, in God's spirit, that is where God meets us. And we're able to see the light. We're able to see, to see the love of God. And it says in Romans 12, 18, if possible, to the best of your ability, live at peace with all people. And that's as if possible to the best of our ability. So when we find ourselves like in miscommunications or when we assume certain things when we talk to other people, we make up our own story in our head, you know, and it, we could totally be off track. We can really be wrong. And then we create a lot of wasted negative energy within our mind, like, oh, that person, you know, they did us no good, or how rude they are, or how come they don't, you know, understand me. I mean, we could just create so much negative energy, and we get so drained by all of that. And it may not even be necessary if we try to practice more and learn more of developing good communication with other people in love and God's spirit. And I like what it says here in Hebrews 12, 14. Pursue peace with everyone and holy and holiness. Without it, no one will see the Lord. So I cannot stress enough how much it is for us to connect with God through connecting with others in peace and harmony. And let's just be encouraged to try our best to talk to others the way that it would put a smile on God's face with our good language and with a good choice of words to just edify and build up. And it says in um, 1 Corinthians, we all know, we all possess knowledge, but knowledge puffs up while love builds. So let's try not to just feel that we have to prove to everybody that we're right and we know it all. No, knowledge puffs up, but instead, just st take a step back, let us yield to God's Spirit, and let love just build and strengthen our relationship with other people. But we do need a lot more peace and harmony, and I'm sure that if we do our part in doing good, good overcomes evil in many ways. And let's just m help to make our the world a better place <laughs> by trying to get along with other people and not wait for the other person to change but we have the power to change ourselves little by little so that we may glorify God ultimately and that he may be pleased with us. I hope today's words may encourage you and just think about something that you can do to have better communication skills, have better choice of words, all rooted in God's love 
and his foundation of his word and truth in his in the Bible, his scriptures, may just really strengthen us and to see all clarity through his perspective of how he wants us to view other people because they are God's children too and he tells us to love one another just as Christ has loved us. God bless you. I'll see you next week and please stay tuned and stay and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.